So the secret to this is just to remember this one sentence and everything else will flow from it. So a conjugate acid is made by adding a proton. That's how I remember it. A conjugate acid is made by adding a proton. So let's write out a couple of equations and see if we can spot the conjugate acid. Okay, so on the right hand side, on the product side, is where we'll find the conjugate acid, and that one there was made by adding a proton. Because look, it was H2O, and now it's H3O. The conjugate base must be made by removing a proton. Okay, this is a little trickier. So these things can both be acidic, but let's see which one's behaving as an acid and a base and how it's all going to work out. Okay, H2PO4 minus. That seems to turn it to H3PO4, and so that's the conjugate acid. It's made by adding a proton. So the fluoride must be the conjugate base, made by removing a proton. And these are always on the product side, the conjugate acid and conjugate base. Another example, got ethanoic acid and sodium hydroxide. Makes sodium ethanoate and water. So what's been made by adding an H plus? Well, it looks like water's been made by adding an H plus. That's a conjugate acid, conjugate base. Lovely. Now, there is one thing that's specifically mentioned in the syllabus. The IB wants you to make it clear where the proton has come from. So you can't just say that's the ethanoate ion. They don't like that. Specifically, they don't like it. They mention it in the syllabus. That's the structure, but that's a bit too big. But they will accept CH3COO minus.